Hey guys, hello and welcome to our next Lex Let's Play, and it's uh, Max Payne 3. So, uh, if you don't know the Max Payne series, it was originally created by Remedy, who are now the makers of Alan Wake and the soon to be Quantum Break, which uh, is looking pretty good. Like, I'm not getting an Xbox One, but still, that's a game I want to keep an eye out for. But, uh,. Now this has kind of thrown Max Payne into a uh, new area of his life. He's uh, out of Hoboken, New Jersey now. And knowing that area, I would get out of there there too. So let's start and have me shut the hell up. Come on. I, I definitely wasn't expecting that. Now then, let's begin. So I guess I've become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent -a clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product, and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seemed to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? It's scotch. I never mix my drinks. Yeah, well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party <laughs> really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know, something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though. Big end cop, anti gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. So, who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a co capital do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. 
They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy, if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. Guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Good morning! Things had gone from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now there were two idiots at the wheel. That, my good friend, is an understatement. Got this floor? Sure. Right, look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. I hoped I hadn't. I lost my edge along with everything else. I say good day, sir. I don't even understand that. Ow. How are you doing? That was the boss lady. Only this time she wasn't calling for more. No, nope, no, nope, nope. ow, ow. Dear God, I'm been a long time since Max. Wait, I saw a magazine. Trashy magazines and pretty trashy people. I just hoped I could keep them out of the crime section. She was out on one of the balconies, and I hoped not a balcony. Good job. Uh, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Let it go. Let it go. Come on. It might have been stupidity, drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Oh! Owned. Good day, sir. Tranquila! Tranquila! Nós cuidamos disso. Nice work. Now you need a hand? No, you? Who the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gonna go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. Oh, boy. I imagined the elevator doors opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Where is he? You doing? 
I'd done them enough favors. I didn't need to give them more of a head start. I'll take that, my good sir. like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive almost as much as I did. Oh, that's a two for one. Oh, shit. Are you serious? Awesome! Yeah, that's a... Alright, next. The control box was on the wall to the left of the gate. Uh, Max, I think the thing showed it earlier. slow them down, but not much. The great thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys never True. kidnap. Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? Awesome! No, you didn't. There we go. Just because I'm awesome. Because I could. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. You're okay. Come with me. Just come. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, vocês aí? Que porra vocês estão fazendo? A justiça local? Que porra você acha que é falando com meus homens assim? Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão. Continua dando multas. Não ponha o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos. I only understand one word out of that whole dialogue. Okay, two. Fuck. You did good, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Uh, different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff, politics. Everywhere politics. 
Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home, too. Come on. Back home, it was time for some R&R, &R, the only way I knew how. I was ready for bed. <laughs> A couple of days later, it was back to work. Ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get to do a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey. Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. <laughs> you were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, you spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> you know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Faba? More bodies turned up more people went missing. It's horrifying. Did someone say Buzz Oh, hey, boy. I'm just kidding, but it is a cool town, man. <laughs> hey, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I love this view. Max. It's a real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Week, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. Okay, thank God.
evil, nothing but the best. Nothing but the second best. Why can't we sit over there, man? Oh, I love you, but Cloud you booked in advance. Cloud you? Fucking Cloud you. He isn't even any good. If he were good, he'd be in Barcelona, Milan. He couldn't even make it in Germany. Now he comes back here, he acts like fucking royalty. I'll introduce him. Nah, I need the Caesar. Just give me a bottle of champagne, eh? This kind of place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. <laughs> fucking monkey from a fucking slum. He acts cool with me. What's that? Nothing. Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What do you fucking do it, man? About what? What do you do about life? <laughs> Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub, listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home, I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit, people. Fuck them. People get me wrong. <sighs> I think... I think I love a wrong woman. Oh, excuse me. Fabio! Fabio! Oh, ah, oh, my oh, nigga, how are you? <laughs> What's your bet, Mo? What's your bet? Thank God he had left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. <laughs> Dear God, this is so slow mo. Okay, what the hell? All right then. I guess I'm hoping that there will be a part two. If not, this thing's gonna return to GameStop. <laughs>